spying on us. <laughs> Those guys are spying on us. The first thing we did was check into our hotel and this is actually an apart hotel which I was very excited about because the pictures online look super aesthetic and the rooms themselves were very cozy and Scandinavian vibes and actually the concierge slash check-in area was on the roof of this building which I thought was really cool and you had to kind of walk through this greenhouse like pathway that was lined with a bunch of lush green plants and it just felt really warm and welcoming. These hybrid hotels are actually designed for longer stays and so there's a lot of different social spaces and just areas for people to work and hang out but one of the big reasons i chose this place was because of the interior design there is something about that minimal yet colorful decor that was very attractive and homey to me hello friends we just made it to our copenhagen stay it's so cute i'm gonna do a little tour for y'all we just got here so we're kind of exploring this together so this here is the entrance you come in and right here we have a little sink a coat rack hanger with some cool hooks and then a little entry tray table then over here we have a little coffee nook here is a fridge a little breakfast nook area and slash work area i think the side we have a closet with a full length of mirror a ton of storage actually despite being a very small area oh they have an iron too these are the light switches checkers some books this area is the living room cute and then this here is the bed yeah there's even a tv here just kind of crazy okay now we're gonna go check out my parents slash brother's room because they got a larger room actually okay so. before i show you the coolest part of their room i just want to say that these rooms were equipped with everything that you could possibly need for a stay from a fridge with egg holders to a cooktop and fan knives plates a dishwasher and even a little tea kettle set with which my dad definitely used every single day. Every nook and cranny of this unit was thoughtfully crafted to optimize not only for space, but also functionality. But the coolest part of the room was definitely this pull-out staircase that led to a loft with a massive queen-size bed. This bed literally felt like a cloud. I remember reading the reviews that some people felt caged in while sleeping in the loft, which I can kind of see. It does feel like you're kind of in a cage. But to me, it felt more cozy. This bed is comfy. Very comfy, right? Yeah. Wait, this is so cool. Yes. Yeah. We are about to head out for dinner. Today is actually Mr. Matthew's birthday. So we're gonna go to an Italian restaurant to celebrate. I think we're all honestly like big fans of pasta and noodles. So first meal in Copenhagen is yummy pasta. Huh? Wanna say hi to the vlog? Hi vlog, how are you? <laughs> started the next day off exploring our hotel rooftop area. I also spent some time just admiring the decor they had. I am someone who has a deep appreciation for well curated spaces, especially for spaces that not just focus on aesthetic, but also make sure that each design decision supports the functionality and purpose of the space. The roof had this beautiful view of the city and especially since the sun was out, everything was just glowing and gorgeous. Then we headed downstairs to meet up with the rest of my family. My brother made us this delicious breakfast spread and I know it looks like a balance meal but not pictured was this really spicy ramen that honestly made me food coma afterwards
little cactus candles. How cute is that? I'll get one of these. Ooh, these plates are also really nice. Ooh, these are only six dollars. Next Halloween costume, man. Why would you mean? Hello friends, it is day one of being in Copenhagen. Dion wants to be in the shot too. Hello so. friends. <laughs> wait, 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 no, no, what do you think? But yeah, we're just exploring the town a little bit. We just went into Flying Tiger, which has like a bunch of cute tiger. little like... So cute. There's these little, little Newton toys. Oh, little vlog and stuff shit. Now we're in, in like the main, I think this is the main town square, I don't know, but it is a town square. And we stopped by this little hot dog stand to try a Danish hot dog. I feel like I've had a similar one in Iceland. I'm curious to see how different this one is. But I love that this town square has all these cute little houses and buildings in the background. It kind of reminds me of the one in Gamlestan in Stockholm. The architecture is pretty similar. The first touristy spot we visited was the Round Tower and the name is very fitting because it's literally a pathway that just goes around and around the tower until you reach the top. It was honestly kind of cool though because I've never seen anything built like this before and after the spirally trek upward, you're rewarded with a pretty nice 360 degree view of the city. also had this special exhibit in this large room featuring different kimonos designed by a Danish artist. I thought it was kind of interesting how they took items you'd usually wear and turned them into these colorful and vibrant art pieces. Stuck in there. We stopped by this little cafe called Crystal Sandwich. It is literally spelled the same way as my name, which I thought was pretty cool. And it has high ratings. My Crystal Sandwich. San Pellegrino. This is like soda. This street is also called Crystal God, I think. We're probably gonna go to the botanical gardens and then we rented a boat to ride along the canals. And it's one that you can drive yourself to, so 
wish us luck. After grabbing a quick bite at my sandwich shop, we headed over to a nearby cafe for a little coffee. The one thing I love about Europe is the plethora of cute street cafes. There's something that's very warm and special about them too. Like even my brother was feeling the vibes and spent some time journaling. And just going to a cafe was a nice afternoon pick me up. wandered our way over to the natural history museum area which actually has this botanical gardens within it it's actually so peaceful here there's a ton of people like just walking around i just popped a squat here to people watch a little bit to chill We have left the botanical gardens and we got some burgers. This is apparently like the highest rated burger place in Copenhagen and it has like 4.9 stars and over like a thousand reviews, which is pretty high. So I'm very excited to eat it. We're probably gonna pick it up and then go to a little park to eat it and then head back home because we have a boat reservation that we gotta scurry over to. Wow. Looks massive. Honestly, I don't know if I'd recommend the veggie burger. I don't know what inspired me Fries. to get that to be honest, but I did try the regular meat burgers that the rest of my family got and it was actually really good. Also, sitting in the park was just so healing and tranquil. But I will say we had some very aggressive birds that were scrambling for our food scraps and literally these birds do not play. Like they are so aggressive and bold. Anyway, after scarfing down our burgers, we headed over to our boat rental reservation and I was very excited because I didn't know this was a thing that you could just rent a boat in Copenhagen and then just drive it yourselves. I thought you needed like a boating license or something like that. At least in America, you know, that's usually the case. But I guess in Europe, they're a little bit more chill and it's actually not super expensive. One boat for an hour was about 79 USD and it can hold up to eight people. And our party was five people. So it was only like 15 to $16 each per person, which is isn't too bad. We have to try our backside. <laughs> and we have a passenger here, passenger here, and passenger here. You know where you're going. <laughs> so we know where to go, eh? We also brought some snacks and drinks to just have a little picnic on the boat as well, which I highly recommend. This was actually the one thing I was really looking forward to in Copenhagen is just being able to relax by the canals and just take a chill. It's actually like an electric boat, so it's actually very quiet as you can tell. Welcome aboard to Crystal's boat. Earlier today we had Crystal's sandwich, now we have Crystal's boat. So I think it's kind of confusing to drive because you have to go left to go right, and 
then you have to go right to go left. Huh? The ducks. Don't attract the seagulls. I don't like the seagulls. They're really mean and aggressive. Are there more ducks? No more ducks. Are we out of ducks? What did you say about the ducks? Oh. What did you say they're doing? Did you say anything? You said something about them when I, when you, when I said that they're following us. I said to catch up, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm confused. You said they're spying on us. <laughs> Those guys spying on us. <laughs> you said that. They're doing the right thing. By following us, 